was made back in March um, to initially the GAA clubs, then we recognised this needed a cross-community dimension. And it is it's wonderful what has been achieved in such a, a short period of time. Clubs coming together from different traditions and backgrounds um, into one community, uh, united in a single common purpose to deliver uh, much needed support to those vulnerable and at risk in the Lurgan community. It was an easy sell for all the GA clubs in Peters, in Paws, Clan Nagale and Clan Earn already had plans to help those in need but they were delighted to be working on a cross-community basis with Lurgan Rugby and Cricket Club. In a flash, the Lurgan Community Aid Programme was born. It's, it's fantastic to see the local GA clubs and Lurgan Rugby and Cricket Club coming together. Um, you know, obviously in the in the early days when the when the suppose the virus broke out, a lot of clubs were already sort of set up, started doing their own thing. But um, thankfully, we were all able to get together up in um, Clan Earn, Carl, uh, and Raymond, and sort of organised things there. And we got all the clubs together uh, and said, look, what what can we do? How do we pull this together and make it a um, bit more continuity about the, the whole project and making sure that every area in, in the Lurgan and Lurgan is being um, looked after. We have been following the Healthy Club initiatives basically that have been re released by Crook Park and the county boards and then through to the clubs. So we've been doing that but as well as that we've also been responding to various initiatives or various um, crises and various com um, community needs around the town. So it just has really been very natural the way it has evolved because we were already doing it to a certain extent. all over the different organisations and it's great to see like you know no strength without unity at the end of the day. Uh, we've been working together over the past couple of weeks brilliantly. Um, you know some club might get a lack of donations in, you know big bags of spuds or something uh, or big you know crates of water or something like that and we all share it amongst ourselves. Um, if one club is going out that day delivering welcome packs and a club from you know one side of the town got a tax saying somebody's in dire need of, of, of something out you know, we don't mind going out and delivering it, just no matter who it is, uh, you know, if they need help then we're there to help like so. Well one of the things that I think all five of the clubs would recognise and would be able to tell you um, is that we've been really, really impressed and, and blown away really by the generosity of a lot of our small local businesses who've helped us um, with just managing the logistics, allowing us to take their boxes was just one thing, but we've received um, potatoes and we've got bread at half price and these are all small businesses here struggling as it is and you know they have seen what we are doing and they've jumped in and helped us and we couldn't have done it without them. I'm oh, very proud and very privileged to um, belong to the community aid group um, as part of the Clanning Yellow Wellbeing Committee. It's just absolutely amazing that everybody has come together um, and put their uh, sporting rivalries to one side and to uh, link up with all the various Gaelic clubs and the rugby club in the town. So it's fantastic. It's great that they're helping the vulnerable in the community and that it's a cross community initiative as well. So everyone across the Lurgan area is being helped by it. Um, the vulnerable families that are in need and others that may be shielding and the elderly and things. So we're covering a wide range of um, people that we would classify as vulnerable in this time. See the whole buzz about um, and people are just calling at the club. People are, are, are setting text messages, phone calls. There's donations coming in left, right and centre. You know, it, it's just, it, it has been phenomenal to see everybody getting behind all the clubs, you know, not just our own. I think in, in life there's a time they give and there's a time they receive. And I think in this crisis it's been actually amazing to see the generosity being drawn out of people. But, you know, even in the sale that we did, there's there's people paid double or triple actually what they were due to pay, you know, actually just as a charitable donation. So, you know, I think if there's one positive to be drawn out of this is the community spirit and just the fact that people have been so generous and, and the real togetherness in the community. So, Not half an hour ago, the um, young people have left here, loaded up their cars and are away delivering. They've basically um, abandoned their football skips uh, for masks to, to serve the community. Um, and I would have to say that I'm standing here tonight feeling just immensely proud of them, proud of the young people, uh, proud of their sense of community 
and really proud of what they're doing for, for the people in, in their area and beyond. The compassion of people in Lurgan has been immense. Almost 800 households on a weekly basis being looked after by all the sporting clubs in this community. 800 households, plenty of produce donated. But then again, you have logistical problems. It has to be distributed. I've seen an opportunity to um, go out into the local community and help them. Um, I didn't have the resources to do that. That's when I approached my manager. All of society and indeed our own organisation is working through challenging issues at the moment. So to have a positive story like this, it'll lift morale. Obviously it's doing brilliant work for the community, but it'll lift morale of our own staff right across the organisation as well. So it's, it's a brilliant story and fair credit to all these guys for making it happen. As the sporting clubs put their best foot forward, the local ABC council were with them full square. The council were also delivering food parcels of their own, but they were impressed and immensely proud of the efforts of all in their sporting community. I am. I'm completely overwhelmed by the response and the initiatives that are in play. And the whole community has really come together here. It's showed that we can build a, a positive future for our area. Yeah, and it's fabulous to see that the, all of the rugby clubs and the GA clubs involved here, they've grew that partnership through sport originally, and now when there's a real community need, they're working together to address those issues. So it's fabulous to see and to know what's come out of that cross-community work as well. These clubs have worked together, and they've worked together before, as you know, through our Pace 4 programme, and this is really an extension of that, and they've really built on and enhanced that Pace 4 project from last year, and they've been able to mobilise then really quickly because they've built up those relationships with each other because they've built up those networks they've been able to hit the ground running in response to this crisis and that that's hugely overwhelming for me to see that and see that happening on the ground and to see all these people working so closely together for the whole community and these are people and um, these are sportsmen who are of the community and they're very much for the community and that's a, a really really overwhelming thing to see in action for people in need the gratitude is there for all to see Wonderful. They were a godsend. Definitely a godsend. I've never experienced such generosity in my life. Words can't explain what it is at this particular time to do that because of the dangers of the, of the virus and all of the rest of it. For them to come out and do all of that, I can't find words to say how grateful I am and I'd say the, people, the rest of the people who's been getting help, how grateful I am for that. When they were phoning us and letting us know how happy they were, it was more about the fact that somebody was out looking after them. There was a friendly face at the door dropping off the packs. Uh, no, the, the messages we got back were brilliant. Uh, really makes it all worthwhile. We've always believed that, that sport is a, a unifying force. And um, yeah, I, I, th I think this, is, this has shown it in, in really strongly. It's been very evident. and. Um, I, I think going forward, hopefully, hopefully we can build on that. It's exciting to see maybe where this this will lead to in the in the months and years to come. So, we're we're delighted to be involved in it. Yeah, I mean, it's really shown Lurgan in a good light. Obviously, um, you know yourself, like Lurgan, the four local clubs, are, 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 like us and Clan are on top of each other, some Pauls and Clans are on top of each other. But honestly, like there hasn't been any mention of rivalry or football really much at all. Um, everyone's just mucked in together uh, for, for the one cause, really. It's an initiative which has grabbed the headlines not only on a local basis but further afield. Their efforts featured prominently in the Irish News and also on the BBC's popular news programme, Newsline. Combining for one common cause. Players from Lurgan's four GAA clubs and their rugby and cricket club have started a COVID-19 initiative. Backed by Ireland International, Jacob Stockdale. Uh, in these tough times and uh, I know that every, all the work you're doing is massively appreciated. We asked for everybody to either come forward if they were alone, if they were on social media and they didn't have any family support. We asked club members, you know, to maybe put forward family members' names, neighbours' names. The local postman was able to tell us, you know, of individuals and vulnerable people. The good will and the helpfulness and the kindness that has just outpoured towards everybody, the less fortunate in the community, has been absolutely outstanding. The aid programme enhances what is an already strong connection between the clubs, developed over recent times through a project which builds positive relations through sport. 
you can't say we want to be front and centre in the community and we want to do community relations and we want to build bridges if you don't actually get out and practically help people. So we're able to do that. The work that we're doing is fantastic in a place, such a diverse place that is Lurgan. There's been initiatives um, with Arma have done with Lurgan Rugby Club over the last couple of years, going down and working together and it's starting to create a bond that, um, that hopefully will last longer than just through this period of time. So battling coronavirus is bringing people together to help provide an essential service in the town. Stephen Watson, BBC Newsline, at home. To me, having the groups coming together, uh, delivering much needed support and help uh, within our community, I can ha but hope that Lurgan will become uh, a much more caring, dignified and supportive uh, community. That would be what I would hope for. I am. I'm immensely proud. It's a very difficult time for everybody and I find it very emotional at times. Um, you know, I have a lot of neighbours, a lot of friends uh, who are struggling, people who are at risk, people who are vulnerable. My own father's in a nursing home at the minute. We haven't been able to see him. Um, so it is very emotive. Um, it's very difficult for people. So it's wonderful and it does make me proud to see our community pulling together like this and really rallying to support those people in the community who are at risk and who are isolated and vulnerable. If a community together is the hope then it's there for all to see in this snapshot Stephen Campbell clan the Gale and our master alongside Lurgan Ulster and Ireland rugby international Jacob Stockdale two sporting icons now two friends committed to a better future yeah definitely you know um, like it's it's class not only to to see you know like young people from both sides of the community getting together but like you know even for me like you know, making mates like Stefan, like, you know, um, his class and, and to see, like, kind of just a different side of, of the community and, and Northern Ireland in general and, and to be able to be a part of, of something special that's bringing those both together has been, has been really exciting for me. What I got out of it on a personal level was a, a great deal of satisfaction, something that I've never felt before, you know, I think as a sports player and as a, as a footballer, you can be sometimes, you can be selfish, you know, when you don't really get them I suppose um, them feelings of satisfaction or, you know, like I would go as far as saying like we can be proud of what we've achieved in such a short space of time and I think as males we don't often be as honest as that, you know, and I think it's, it is, um, it is, it has been a great time, you know, for the community. Yeah, for me, like, like I, I never would have grown up playing any sort of Gaelic football or hurling or anything, but like I can guarantee you my kids will be going to play it, you know, and it's 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 yeah like it's just it's just fantastic to see and and hopefully you know like the roots of what of what we've embedded here you know will continue to grow over the next you know five ten fifteen years to the point where it's perfectly natural for kids from both sides of the community to play every sport available to them. So I would have grown up in Tignavon, which um, it's just it's it's a crossroad from Morneview, um, but obviously we're on different sides of the the community. Um, and it was a surreal feeling at the start because I went up and met um, Remy and I got my packages and I, I looked at my first address and it was Pollock Way or whatever it was and it was the closest house that it took me the longest to find. So I'm doing laps in the car and having to ask people in Rangers jerseys and Northern Ireland jerseys, me wearing Atlantic Yale top, you know, where's number 25? And it, it was great because it's something I'd never done before and the, the conversations that I was having, I was conscious that the, the old people that I was talking to had maybe had a conversation that day, so it was just explaining to me, they obviously assumed I was part of the uh, Lurgan Rugby Club, which I wasn't. I, I explained that I was a Gaelic player, and some of them showed a lot of um, interest and actually asked me, you know, the rules of the game. Some men were looking to go a wee bit further with the conversation. One of the conversations last 15, 20 minutes, and it really was great. Like, it's not an easy thing to do to, to commit to this at a, you know, at a community-wide level. Um, you know, it's the kind of thing that that might only, might only, if, if only five, 10% of the, of the community within Lurgan had committed to it, it wouldn't have worked. But to see so many people come out uh, and support, you know, all the different, uh, all the different activities and events that have gone on, you know, over the last two, two or three years, it's been, it's been class to be a part of, and, and something that I'm definitely proud to put my name beside and, and you know, and be a part of this community. I've been up in Pollock Park now three or four times, and. I've been welcomed every time, you know. 
Remy, Jacob, you know, even getting to know Jacob on a personal level, people from the outside may look in and be like, ah, oh, they're just getting together for this, um, for this cause when, when this blows over, you know, it's, it's like, Obi, people's going to doubt, you know, a staff going to be talking to Jacob in three months time. I, I would say we are because we actually were exchanging tax last week, you know, and just getting to know him on a personal level and seeing how humble he is. <clears throat> there is plenty, there's plenty more to take out from this and we are going to leave a legacy behind that is going to go beyond um, this pandemic. I'm always minded of the words by the late, great Seamus Heaney when he spoke of uh, hope for a great sea of change on the far side of revenge. Believe that future sure is reachable. Believe in miracle of cures and healing wells. The Lurgan Community Aid, if you wonder what legacy there'll be to that, if at all, who knows? The one thing I think for certain though, is that sport in Lurgan will never be the same again. <laughs>